Hello, mindful brothers and sisters. Today is the yellow magnetic human. So we are starting a 13 day cycle called a wave spell, the wave spell of the yellow human. For more information about what wave spells are, you can check out the video, The Structure of Wave Spells, and you can watch the video, The um, Structure of the Tolkien, for more information about the galactic calendar that wave spells are a part of. We are also um, ending a castle cycle within the Tolkien, yellow human being the last wave spell within the white northern castle of crossing. I discuss more about castles, which are a bigger cycle within the Tolkien, in the video The Five Destiny Castles. This is how the wave spell of the yellow human looks like, with 13 lunar tones and 13 archetypes that are um, placed on the positions of each of the lunar tones, beginning with the yellow magnetic human and ending with the yellow um, cosmic seed. You can watch the video The Four Clans for a better understanding of the meaning of um, the four main colors within the calendar, red, white, blue, and yellow. Um, so let's explore what the yellow human is all about. His, um, my name is Ebb. Um, it's the ability to receive the infinite abundance of the universe. I call him the hedonist of um, the calendar because he reminds us to enjoy life and its abundance of color, sounds, textures, sensations, tastes, and smells. Because yes, we are spiritual beings, a soul that has a body, not a body that has a soul. But after all, we are here in a body having a human experience. We separated our consciousness from the source, from um, the primordial ocean of cosmic light, love, and wisdom so that we could come here and have this 3D human material experience. Compared to the vastness and the infinity of time, we are here in this physical form for quite a short time, so why not enjoy it as much as possible? Yellow human um, reminds us what it actually means to be human, to grow, to learn, to make mistakes, to fall down so that we can then rise up, to overcome the darkest of hours and to explore the vastness of human emotions, to experience the body. Um, yellow human is the one that accelerates our spiritual evolution through the body and the senses rather than by negating them. And I've noticed how for some people, spirituality seems to be a lot about rejecting the body and the pleasures of life. But this would mean that we are basically rejecting what we came here to experience. Spirituality isn't about rejecting our human form. It's about accepting it, understanding it, and loving it. If we forget how to be human and we remain up there flying with the angels, we are missing out on life. If you remember what we spoke about um, the Red Skywalker and also the Blue Storm, they kind of have the tendency to reject life, to isolate themselves, and to feed off only on their spiritual practice. But that's not what life is about. We came here to actually learn how to be human. The more human we allow ourselves to be, the more we can discover the divinity of our soul, paradoxically. Because the body is only an empty vessel that gets filled with the nectar of life and consciousness. I like using the analogy of how the body is like a spacesuit that allows our soul to navigate this reality. So if we reject our human experience, we are kind of fighting with the wishes of our soul that chose to come here to have this human experience, to learn, to grow, to evolve, to discover itself. The journey of the yellow human through um, the shadows 
is kind of what most human beings experience on this planet where we lose our awareness of the world of spirit, of the subtle realities and dimensions, and we direct all our focus towards the materialistic side of life. We get too identified with our body, our personality, our career, and we lose ourselves in the never-ending desires and temptations that this life offers, financial success and material abundance, comfort, a good and active social life, um, parties, drugs, power, relationships, rational knowledge. Most humans are always on the run, running after more, more money, more wealth, more power, more acknowledgement, more love, more appreciation. It's kind of like um, there's an inner hunger within us that seems impossible to satisfy but actually it's possible to satisfy only through the material. Because it's not just our ego who might be hungry, but also our soul. And if our soul is starving, no matter how much we feed the desires of the ego, we will never be satisfied. Matter can never fulfill our soul or our hearts. The good news is that all of this inner hunger burning within every human being is here to push us to open up to other realities than that of our individual self, helping us discover our soul and the entire universe. This hunger can assist us to get back on our spiritual path. But because matter can't fulfill our soul, this means that in the shadows, the yellow human is stuck in the feeling of unfulfillment and unsatisfaction. The Rolling Stones song, I Can Get No Satisfaction, is definitely the yellow human shadow song. Even if he is um, surrounded by all the treasures of the world, by all the abundance, the only thing that he can see is what's missing. Then the world becomes quite empty because he has forgotten how to nourish his soul and he ends up losing connection with the pleasures and the beauty of life because this can only be found in the present moment. And if we're stuck in our mind looking for what's missing, we are definitely not present. So if yellow human is bringing up a feeling of unfulfillment or lack, we need to ask ourselves why. What parts within us have we forgotten how to nourish? Yellow human pushes us to um, constantly expand so that we can open up to receive higher frequencies within our body. I love the description of yellow human as a vortex of transformative energy. And this vortex that he creates is fueled by his authenticity. Because yellow human doesn't need to do or be anything except himself to open up this vortex. And um, I experienced two yellow humans dying. One of them, my grandmother on my mother's side. And another one, the um, person who I met on my travels that I mentioned in the video about the um, wave swell of the white world bridger, who... Um, is the reason I sing medicine songs and who inspired me quite deeply. But um, what I want to say is that I was deeply impacted by the death of two yellow humans and their death really felt like a vortex of transformation opened up for me that helped put me on my path. Because this is exactly what the yellow human is all about. Through being his magical, authentical self, he can inspire others to stand in their authenticity, to find the path of their soul, and to walk on it. Another power of the yellow human is gratitude. Through gratitude is how we unlock the infinite abundance of the universe. By practicing gratitude, by expressing it for everything that we receive and experience, we can ground ourselves more deeply into the present moment. Gratitude is a state of mind above anything else. And it's not about spiritual bypass where we focus only on the positive and avoid looking at the negative. It's about using gratitude to find the positive within the negative, to find the gifts and lessons revealed by the struggles. So when we offer gratitude, 
for the discomforts, for the pain, for the losses, and for the difficult moments of our life, we become able to transmute our perception to, and we can open up to a much more wider understanding of reality. Yellow human also gifts us with the power of our free will, the ability to make conscious choices. Free will is um, defined as having a choice directed control over our actions. And yellow human is quite an empowering energy because it helps us make choices based on what we want, what feels right for us, what our inner voice is telling us to do, no matter how others might react to our choices. And each time we are making a choice, and obviously I'm talking about the important choices in our life, not what we want to eat for breakfast, um, that choice can lead us closer to our soul, to the path of our destiny, or it can lead us further away from it. This doesn't mean that one path is better than the other. Sometimes we actually need to experience making a bad decision, moving away from our soul and destiny to understand that this isn't the path. Then, moving towards the path of our soul is a choice we make out of our own free will because we know what feels right for us. To paraphrase Carlos Castaneda, a path is only a path and what matters is does this path have a heart? Are we walking on a path because our heart is guiding us on it or are we sticking to a path out of fear? In the shadows, yellow human completely gives up its free will because it's quite a sensitive and receptive energy. If he's not accepted or understood, if he doesn't have the freedom to be himself, he's going to use his sensitivity in order to feel what others expect from him, becoming exactly who others want him to be. To be honest, the structures in our society aren't actually encouraging free will. Most children are forced to give up their free will at a very young age because if they don't do what they are, to they are told, um, they get punished, yelled at, grounded, rejected, shamed, and the message we receive is in those moments is that who we are isn't enough, that who we are is unacceptable. And most of us in childhood had to behave how our parents wanted us to so that we could receive love, attention, appreciation, food. <laughs> um, it's like that joke, I want you to become a strong and independent woman, but while you're under my roof, I need you to be a docile and submissive little girl. So the yellow human archetype in the shadows makes choices in life based on other people's expectations and by doing so, he is giving all his power away. This leads to a feeling of loneliness, being misunderstood and unaccepted. And as traumatized human beings, instead of teaching our children how to stand in their free will and be themselves, we are passing on the trauma of I need to be how others want me to be so I can be loved. I am not free. I can't do what I want. I can't be who I want. I need to sacrifice who I am for others. Because we live in a world that doesn't reward authenticity, freedom, or truth, the yellow human can end up seeing his free will as something dangerous that keeps him from receiving love, acceptance, recognition, and understanding. In the same way that in the shadows, the blue storm ends up seeing his freedom as something dangerous. And when we're doing what others want us to or what we think they want us to do, it's because that we are trying to prove that we are worthy of love and that we are a good human being because we are sacrificing ourselves for others. So this way, yellow human becomes a people pleaser in its shadows. But no more, because the yellow human asks us to get out of this game and to understand that we are worthy and that we have come here to be ourselves fully. And also he helps us understand that self-sacrifice isn't something noble, especially if it disconnects us from our heart and soul. And despite the fact that um, self-sacrifice is a program so deeply embedded in our culture. Yes, there might be moments in our life where we need to do some sacrifices, but I'll say it again. If through self-sacrifice we are moving further away from our soul and its wishes, 
Self-sacrifice becomes something that disconnects us from who we truly are. It makes us compromise our truth and desires just so we can get other people's approval. So during these 13 days, I invite you to contemplate on what it means to be a human being. Do you see the infinite abundance of the world or are you perceiving only what's missing from your life? Are you nurturing your soul as well as your body? Or maybe you're starving your soul or maybe the body. What are you grateful for in your life? Can you place the feeling of gratitude over the difficult situations in order to transmute them? Are you embracing your free will? Are you making choices based on what you want? Or are you stuck in a people-pleasing mentality using all of your energy to do what others expect you to do? So if you have any questions about the Dreamspell calendar or to decode your galactic signature and understand yourself more deeply, or if you want to order one of the 20 Dreamspell Organite pendants made for each of the 20 solar seals, um, and also you can watch the video Dreamspell Organite pendants to have a behind the scenes peek of how these pendants are made. Um, you can contact me either on my Facebook page or on my email. Um, and I also wanted to let you know that I've set up an Instagram page. Um, the details are in the description of this video in case you want to click follow. Um, so wishing you a abundant wave spell and I will see you on the red magnetic serpent in Lakesh.